Now, as I mentioned earlier, direct mail is by far my number one source of deals. It's the most consistent, it's the most repeatable. I don't know if you remember those like function equations from middle school or high school, but I've basically got, if I put in 2000 bucks, it's shooting 15 Gs out the other side. That's beautiful. We find as many $2,000 as I can to cram in the front and we'll shoot as much out as we can on the other side. This month alone, I'm spending $28,000 on direct mail. That gives you any idea of how much we believe in this. Now, the average we're spending to get a deal is about two grand. So don't feel like you've got to do $30,000. You would drown in leads. I have full-time staff and everything. But realize like, you know, you're probably going to have to do 500 thousand, 2000 pieces to get a deal. Now, what am I sending? So right here, I've got some pieces from ballpoint marketing. Um, they've got kind of these fun postcards that I came up with that are more like comic themed, right? Kind of fun, stand out a little bit. Um, but the thing that makes ballpoint special, it's kind of the name implies everything's actually written with pens. So it's not printed. It's not like a fake font that pens actually dig into the paper. I'll have teachers call me and be like, you know, hey, I don't want to sell my house, but you have beautiful handwriting. They don't know a robot did it for me and that, you know, I sent out 20,000 of them. They think that I sat there and actually just hand wrote them something in cursive and shot it to them. So whether you're doing postcards or letters, these are actually mine. These are what I send. Uh, they're custom designed for me. Or they've got like the template ones here, which uh, you can literally go order these and have them done right now. Um, piece inside is fully written. They come inserted, sealed and stamped. So they're ready to go. You don't actually have to do any work on them. So ballpoint marketing does all of my stuff. Um, we're taking our mailing lists from PropStream. We're going on to ballpointmarketing.com. We're picking out what piece we want, what style, what font, what message. We're uploading our list, paying for it, and they're shipping it to our door. All I've got to do when it shows up is cut the box open, dump it out um, in like the blue boxes, you know, like the USPS dealies or put it in my mailbox and then wait for my phone to ring. It really is that simple. Now, I'll be honest with you, they're not the cheapest, but they're the most effective thing that I've tried. You might be able to get something like a yellow letter, which is kind of like a uglier, older style piece of mail from somewhere for less money but your cost per deal is going to be higher. A lot of real estate investors really struggle with this concept of like, wait, if I can get another 500 for the same price, I'm reaching 500 more people, won't I make more money? No, that's not how it works. What matters is how many people actually call you or what's called the response rate. These are the highest converting things that we've seen. Now, if you don't have the cash to hire ballpoint, you can definitely do mail like this yourself. You could go to Staples or something and get stationary and handwrite them out. I've seen people do it where on the uh, envelope, you know, they'll write like with pens where it's going and they'll get like a sticker for their name. Um, I've seen them do it where on the inside it's printed on like their inkjet at home and they're simply signing it. So if you're starting out and like cash is super tight, you can do that option. You'll realize very quickly though, like it's not worth your time to try to save a few cents a piece. You wanna just outsource it so you can focus on what actually makes you money. Now, below this video, I'm gonna to link to a YouTube video that I did on how to print your own mail from home because I get it. Um, I was there once. So we're gonna show you guys how to do that using an HP printer if you're not quite at the level where you can afford ballpoint, however, all I did was I hustled, I popped off a couple deals, and then I reinvested all of that cash. And then all of a sudden I'm making way more than I'm spending and I'm able to take the majority home to my family.